Good morning, friends. I am starting something new just for this week. I want to test it out and see what happens. I want to vlog on my phone. Um, I feel like the camera quality is even way better than my camera. Um, and my camera is just really bulky. And obviously, as you know, I don't take it anywhere. Um, so I'm just going to test it out and we're going to see how this works. Um, I know audio is kind of crappy. I'm going to have to like edit it in post, but, um, I feel like this is going to be a new era for me and it's going to make filming things a lot easier. This is like the only thing that I'm focused on. So we're going to get ready for the day. I just did a V shower and I washed my hair, but today is kind of a bittersweet day, but it's fine. Jared is going on a work trip um, for three days, two nights. Again, um, he just got back like a month ago from one of these. Um, he went to Forks last time and he's going to like the Tri-Cities area this time. So again, not a very sexy place to go and not somewhere that I <laughs> wanted to necessarily partake in. I guess I could have just stayed at the Hilton, um, but it's going to be like a hundred and something degrees there. So I had no desire. I have actually a very exciting um, potential client meeting. My chiropractors want to meet with me um, to discuss potentially a new website. I don't know if we're doing social or anything like that, but that is TBD, so I'm very excited. Otherwise, just making a cute little salmon bowl for dinner and hanging out, probably read some more of my book and be a productive queen. Feels so good to just get back in my rhythm post camping. That was a beautiful trip, but <laughs> it took a lot out of me. I was so tired and uh, it just feels good to not be cray cray. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, tomorrow I'm free. I should probably go do something, I don't know. Um, Lauren thought she was coming in a bit earlier cause she had this whole like a news segment thing and they've changed the date now. So she's not coming in anymore. Um, so just kind of have to figure out what we're doing. We're gonna Zoom, um, but she won't be in Olympia anymore because she doesn't have anything to do in Seattle. So we will see each other on Friday. Probably I'm gonna try um, the Trader Joe's soup dumplings. Uh, you saw in my haul last week. They look good and I've heard great things about them. So. Hoping that the vegetarian vegan ones are not ass because um, everybody loves the meat ones. Um, oh my God, can we just talk about the chaos that is our country? With Joe Biden dropping out, Kamala running, it's going to be an insane election season, but I'm thrilled for her and even more thrilled that he realized the right thing to do. So as much as I like dislike a lot of the stuff both of them have done, like I'm not living in a Project 2025 world, sorry. So like all the white twinks who are saying they're not voting <laughs> for her or voting for Jill Stein or whatever, wild bro, wild rationale there. Love that they can vote with their conscience and their morals and their values. But sadly we have a two party system and I'm gonna play it until the cows come home. Like until we can demolish that. That is what I am doing. That's where I stand in case you were wondering my thoughts on anything. I was thinking maybe I can just go get some work done at a coffee shop or something like close to the meeting like a couple hours out. I don't know if I will but we shall see. Updates. I feel like I told you guys about my acid reflux problem that I've been having the past couple months and I think I figured out the cause um obviously i just like i'm not eating the best anyway but like i've never had this much heartburn um and acid reflux i think it's the antibiotics like i was on antibiotics for a combined like 20 some days like 25 i don't know and i was on doxycycline which is one of the most acidic um and they say that it like messes up your like gut flora and like bacteria I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. I was thinking in terms of like, um, oh, maybe it's a side effect, cause it is. Um, so like just when I'm using it, I would have it. But no, I think it lasts even after. And it's because your bacteria is not catching up yet. Like your good bacteria is also gone. 
So I feel like that combined with the gallbladder, combined with my processed food intake, combined with my weight, whatever you want to say, I think it was like the perfect storm. A lot of things with me is the perfect storm. So that's my personal idea of how this went down. Um, and I'm very excited for it to end at some point. But I think I'm going to scale back on like the bad things I'm eating. Um, I'm going to have to scale back on like garlic and hot sauces and all the things I like, which I know. Um, but I think I'm going to get back on my probiotic and see if that helps. Because I, you guys, I've never had like this level of acid reflux. Like even after getting my gallbladder out. Like I never had this problem. I ate everything I wanted on the honeymoon and never had any problems. If anything, it was like the other way. Like digestive bathroom problems um i've never had it like come up uh this end so it's very strange and that's why i feel like it probably is not my gallbladder and i looked up like bile reflux and i don't think it's that so i don't know tbd we will see what happens but i think starting with probiotic is going to be a good starting point i definitely was not diligent about taking it when I started. So that could have been my fault. I definitely have never been on antibiotics like this long before and I've never taken doxycycline. So I think I just really effed up my gut and girlfriend needs a reparative therapy, you know? But they say that it takes like two months to like seven months to fully recover um, and to get your gut like back where it was. But all my acid reflux problems started like a week after I took the first dose. So I'm just saying. All right, friends, I heard from Sumai and she wants to go co-working. So we are actually gonna go co-working and be productive queens. Um, and then I have confirmation of my meeting with my Cairo actually. They wanna hire me maybe for like website design, we'll see. The meeting with the Cairo team is going to be at a local tap house, which I love, love, love. I pack like this tofu, like fresh roll, Trader Joe's thing for lunch. So we can go to the coffee shop and go be discreet about it. Um, and then maybe we'll come home and have time for like the main dinner and I'll get like a salad at the tap house. We will see. TBD, because I had that salmon that was really good yesterday. Um, I made air fryer salmon again and I want to do like a salmon bowl with like the seaweed and everything chef's kiss so we will see what happens we are home had a great co-working sesh and i think i'm going to make my dinner before i meet with the potential clients because we're meeting at the tap house around 6 30 and it's five so i feel like i can eat my main like salmon bowl meal here and then have like an appetizer and a drink or something i'm gonna put the salmon in here QP. I feel like sriracha is usually what you do, but I'm trying to not have heartburn. I'm gonna have a couple of these packs with it. To roasted teriyaki. Heat this up and then I'll break up the salmon and then I'll put it on the bed of rice. And I'm just gonna have it with the QP mayo. And then you use this to like scoop it up. You can also do like tamari. I might do some tamari. I'm so excited to meet with these people. I feel like it's gonna be a great situation. And I feel like, you know, they could use it. I could use it. We'd be a great team together. So fingers crossed. I have a really good feeling about this. Um, we were so productive and I filled up my budgeting planner. So let me show you. So this is the planner. It is um, from, I think it's called That Budget Babe is her username on TikTok. Her name is Chana Marie. I think it's her name. So iconic, That Budget Babe. And it has like a goal and like debt payment tracker at the beginning of a Christmas um, spending plan situation. Um, and then there's the monthly breakdown, which is like what you fill out every month. And it goes through like sinking funds, you know, variable stuff, um, fixed expenses, and then the bill creator. So you can like track on which day of the month it will get withdrawn. Um, a monthly variable expense tracker just to kind of show what all you spent that month. 
And then you have your paycheck spending plan, it's basically like repeating your budget, except this time there's like an actual column, which is like actually how much you spent. So this is how much you budgeted, but how much did you actually spend? And then you fill that in once the month is over, as far as I understand it. And then you also have like fun things at the back with like activities. If you wanna do like the, you know, 30 day eat at home challenge, you can like color in the little fries when you complete it. Or um, the 100 envelope challenge where you put like dollars into envelopes. Lots of fun stuff. Um, and then like I said, there's like trackers at the start. So you can see like, like the little thermometer and you can like color it in. Pretty cool. So I'm loving it so far and I'll show you guys how it goes um, as I use it more, but highly recommend if you're looking for one, TikTok shop. All right, happy Wednesday. We are making these steamed vegetable soup dumplings. Oh, they're ready. They say to leave it in here for a minute. So I have my station. We do not have the soup dumpling um, spoons, unfortunately, but I have chopsticks, a regular spoon, and then since there is like broth in it, it's like soup, I'm gonna put something I can eat it over. Um, super excited though. I think um, my vegan friend, my hairstylist, Alicia, told me she liked these, so I'm hoping they are bomb.com. I have just spent today relaxing and being a productive queen. I am now eating dinner. I chatted with Lauren all day and just had a lazy bed day. I literally just showered and just sat in bed and was so productive. I colored, I got tons of client work done and just had a fun little day. It was different from my busy, busy time, um, you know, the rest of the week. So yesterday went great. Um, the meeting went amazing with my new clients, happy to report. We're gonna do their website and then um, maybe down the road do other marketing stuff, but it was super nice. And I went and walked, which was just lovely as you saw. Um, it was perfect weather, just have like a nighttime walk. And it turns out one of the doctors is my neighbor. And I also went to elementary school with her. So it's a very small world, um, but I think we're gonna walk cause she has, I think she's a Husky. Um, maybe he's a mix, but very beautiful dog. And I think we're going to walk around the neighborhood sometime together um, with her dog. But yeah, all in all, a great meeting. Um, and it was just a beautiful day. So back at it again, getting stuff done. Tomorrow, Jared comes home. Um, I have a girl's day with Kenzie. She'll be over by lunchtime. We're going to get some Uber together and just hang out. And I think she might bring Ruby the puppy. Um, and then I had actually a psychic reading event with my mom. A medium is coming to a place called New Traditions. It's like, it used to be a cafe, but they will be serving um, food tomorrow. It's like, uh, like an old cafe and then like uh, fair trade goods. So they host like lots of local like musicians, like events and stuff. So I am just really hoping my grandma comes through for my mom. Um, you know, you don't know with a live reading situation, like if you'll even be picked. Um, but we got a table reserved up front. So hopefully that will increase her odds. I think I'm going to pack, um, the little, um, cup. That's my grandma's. If you don't know, she has like this beautiful brass cup from Scotland. Um, and I brought it with me to the 2021 reading. So I want to do that again to kind of see if I can like conjure her up. But I just want my mom to have like a whoa experience um, or also just like see what other people get from it. Hopefully we can convince her that this is real. I just think it's so funny. I like it. It's good entertainment regardless. I've addressed that in a past vlog. Um, okay. I can't really smell them. Hmm. That's what they look like. Cute. Oh, they are so hot. They were not kidding. I can't eat them right now, but I will wait a few minutes for them to cool off. I'm so excited. That's my dinner. Um, and I'm just going to hang out, relax. Um, but hopefully tomorrow will be very, very fun for many reasons. I will keep you updated as per usual. Um, but yeah, I just didn't really vlog today because nothing really happened. But it was a cute day. Cute little girl's day. Got my dumplings and got my big brother. Life eats. Hell yeah. Oh my god. They are so good. Like so flavorful. So delicious. I think there's enough like soy sauce in it. But you could always put like tamari or soy sauce or something. But oh my gosh. 
next level. So good. Good morning, happy Thursday. I am just cooking up my breakfast. Also, these yogurts from Trader Joe's, you guys, they're everything. This is the Meyer lemon. I just put some granola on it. Oh, heavenly. <clears throat> I'm also making a little like egg breakfast sandwich. So today, Kenzie is coming over, which will be super fun. We're gonna have a girl's day, as I mentioned, and then we're gonna go to the psychic reading. I'm stoked. I just feel like it's gonna be so good. I hope my mom gets like a wow moment. That would just be so cool. It's gonna be such a good day. I got enough sleep, I'm feeling good. It's like nine o'clock and I'm just now eating breakfast and getting started with my day. So I think it's gonna make the day go by a lot faster. Um, I noticed that when I woke up and started working at seven before even eating yesterday, it was like, oh my God, this day feels like it's been a full 24 hours, you know what I mean? All right, walking to the tap house again. It's a tap house week apparently. I'm gonna go meet Kenzie and I brought my work stuff. So hopefully we can work and get some lunch and then maybe a coffee. We'll see what we do. But that is my Thursday afternoon. We're just gonna have a little hot girl summer walk. It's so nice, there's a breeze. It's like 70 something, it's so perfect. Um, went and got a bagel sandwich for lunch. Client meeting went great. Our, everything we have to do is just going so smoothly. So, it's a good day. in like 76 75 degree weather it was hot I need to hydrate more we had such a fun time it was a lovely day and now I need to go home um, and just clickety clock away a little bit more I need to hydrate so it was a lovely little girls jaunt around the lake I hope we can do it again soon we're talking about doing something next Thursday as well before co-working so <laughs> I like the menage a trois. Started with Les Mis. And if you know me, you know I love a musical, okay? I'm a musical girly. Kinley and I listened to the entire Hamilton soundtrack from Bellevue to uh, our little stay yesterday. Oh my god. I was singing along to all the songs. It's great. So they start off with that. They also had a nod to Fan of the Opera, which also really spoke to me. But they gave us this opera. They gave us heavy metal. They gave I us love that shit. Then they gave there us was everything. Our, uh, there was a decapitated Marie Antoinette. <laughs> I was like, yes! Insane. And then there was the menage a trois. Oh, and there was Gaga. There was Gaga. Gaga and, and the menage a trois. And her feathers. And I was like, oh my, I'm having the best time. Chef's kiss. I could not even focus on my art. I was literally just watching the drama unfold. Yeah, I don't. Oh, the torch is appearing again. Humbling. I don't like the phantom torch. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a little too much fire. Yeah, it's a lot of energy. But anyway, um, Lolo came back. She visited. We had breaks. We got our ice cream. We just been chilling. And oh, you'll, yeah, you'll see Lolo again. I'll be back. I don't go back. Oh, we'll, we'll see you oh, in a yeah. month. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You'll see Lolo in a month yeah. while we visit. Yeah. yeah. It'll be so fun. We have so much fun stuff up our sleeve. We have a whole lot of tenoraris. A whole lot of tenoraris. Yeah. Oh my lord, friends. Hello. Happy Saturday. Uh, Jared and I are just having a little fun date day. We decided to go to Lakewood, Washington, which is like half an hour away, I guess. Uh, maybe a little more. Um, I don't know. I was preparing for the Eras tour. I was just singing along, so I don't really know how much time passed, but it felt like 20 minutes. Um, we are here and there's a wing stop. We do not have a wing stop. We have a Buffalo Wild Wings. So Jared really wants to try wing stop. I'll do a little mukbang for you. And then I'm going to get chronic tacos. It's just around the corner. So we're going to go grab that next. I think I'm going to do their taco plate this time. I was not the biggest fan of their burrito bowl. Um, I remember trying this. Actually, I thought I hadn't tried it before, but I definitely did. Um, a couple years ago when we used to come over here for crumble before we had one. Um, so yeah, I don't know. TBD. I'm kind of nervous about it, but we will see at least one well, lovely little lunch out. Um, and then we're just gonna eat in the car and then we are actually going to go to like a garden I'm pretty sure it looks beautiful. It's like a one-hour like trail um, And there's like beautiful gardens like hydrangeas different things. It's like 12 bucks per person to get in So we think we might just do that for like a little leisure walk a little fun time. Um, I didn't really vlog a ton. I always say that, but um, just living in the present moment. I have enjoyed vlogging on my phone um, this this week. Um, so let me know. I know there's like a couple of you who watch like really religiously and like leave comments. So if you have like any strong opposition to having the phone versus the camera, I just feel like the phone clips are way higher quality, like visually. Um, so it should be good. I know the audio isn't the best, but like I'm willing to compromise on the audio to have a better video quality. Um, and I think that for whatever reason, like I don't want to export my shit in 4k. Um, and I think that the 1080p, there's just something about the new iPhone, um, that is a little bit better than, um, my like Canon camera. So I got a lot of use out of it. I'll obviously still keep it. Um, and maybe we'll go back and forth, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm on the go so much and it makes vlogging so hard. Um, like I don't want to carry around like a big camera and when my iPhone, like I'm not a big vlogger, like I have 20 viewers regularly. So like, unless I were to like blow up, I don't think it's worth it to like invest in like fancy cameras. I used to have the Canon G7X, which is like a tiny one like about that size and it was much easier to vlog in public um and it was just like way less embarrassing than like this huge bulky camera um so i think i'm gonna just keep vlogging on my phone like there's nothing wrong with it i don't think so um yeah i think i'm just gonna do that so wanted to just kind of clarify like m my reasoning i guess i know i shared in the first clip but um yeah i just feel like this is working out well and I want to stick to the phone vlogging. So we will see. I haven't tried to edit it yet. So I'm gonna do some editing tonight and see how it goes. We're back. I got the two taco plate and I guess they don't have like plates. So they wrap everything like individually. So I have rice and beans on the dash and then two soft flour tacos. I got the queso and the chips just to try it. Got 10 piece wing with half original hot wing stop sauce. Yeah, lemon pepper, and then I got their hot honey dry rub for their crispy tender. Oh wow! And then the ranch. Yeah. Not good. No. Mm. Like a or chipotle. No salt, like no, no flavor at all. Oh well. We can always stop by somewhere on the way home. Saving you guys the heartache.
oh, we had the best time. And look what I picked up, this little happy houseplant coloring book. I also got a gift for someone for Christmas, which I will not be showing you, but it's in there. Um, such a cute little gift shop and I cannot wait to go through these. They're so adorable. So now we're hitting home, heading home, hitting the road to home. Um, highly recommend though, the Lakewold Gardens. Absolutely stunning, a lovely little walk. You can do it in sandals, sneakers, whatever. It's a great little mini walk, a little trail. Morning, happy Sunday. I am gonna go get some coffee. It's so funny, I've never been over here like more time than I can count on my fingers. This is actually over by like where I grew up. It's an Olympia coffee roasting stand and it's smaller. So we're gonna grab coffee and I think I see my client slash friend waiting for bagels. So she's over there waiting for our bagels. I'm gonna get us coffee. Home, it is Sunday. As you saw, I had a beautiful day with my client slash friend, Cindy. We actually walked around the neighborhood and it turned out so good that bagel was delicious. So I'm so sad that was a limited time. Um, but it was so good. So we did that, walked with her dog Chili, who is just the most darling little thing ever. Um, and then I went home, Jared and I went out to eat, <laughs> and then we just hung out. I clickety-clacked on my computer, he played his video games. It was just such a relaxing weekend overall. Um, and then we went into my parents and had dinner with them and um colored watched we're here we finished the season such a good season love latrice royale and um then we started trixie motel drawing me home with them we are halfway through there's only four episodes but me and jared watched two we showed them the first one um and then we can finish it <laughs> with them some other time but it was lovely and um now i'm just gonna take off what's left of my makeup um, and call it a night slash week and wake up and start again tomorrow. Um, I realized I never told you guys what happened at the mediumship reading. It was incredible. The woman was so talented. Her name is Heidi Connolly, another great local medium. Um, if you're looking for one, she does private readings just like Denise, the gal we saw, um, I think in last week's vlog or the week before. Um, incredible. And my grandma did come through. She was the first spirit to come through. Um, I just knew that was going to happen. And she went straight to my mom and was like, as soon as I saw you, like I knew I had a reading for you. And she was like, your mom's coming through. And it was like a whole thing. Um, it was incredible. She didn't say like as big as like the Barbara moment, which like, if you go back in the vlog, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, kind of too much to recap, but, um, it was really on point like personality differences between my mom and my grandma um and my mom is still she's a little skeptical still I mean she'll always be but she was a little freaked out so I think me and her have talked about going halvesies and getting an hour-long reading with Heidi um my mom really liked her and she was like I was really surprised like how not woo-woo she was um and I think she had like some preconceived ideas about her so I think that was pretty cool um that we got to experience that together but it was amazing so Heidi does monthly events at traditions new traditions downtown um so if you are interested and you are local definitely check her out um it's like by donation and it's like I think 10 to 20 dollars suggested super chill um and you might just get a message from your loved one so if you want to join um i think i might go next month or the month after that but she was so skilled seriously um so we had a great experience and yeah just had so much fun so that was my week um i'm feeling a lot better my heartburn i haven't had like basically most of the week um, and I'm gonna take another probiotic, which reminds me, I've been taking it every day. Um, and overall, just feeling better. I'm getting more active too, like getting back into like a somewhat normal routine. Um, I am finally feeling like the, the air of fall coming around in about a month. Um, and I made plans with Tatiana to decorate as per usual, get our pumpkin cream cold brews. Um, I think it's gonna be such a fun little time. So you'll have to come along with us um, for that in September. But I'm just like, I don't know. 
I'm feeling like I can finally enjoy the fall again, go out and do things. Like it was just so close to the wedding and I was so like hyper fixated last year. So I'm just excited. And then our anniversary is coming up. Gotta figure out what we're doing for that. Um, and then Christmas and everything. So yeah. It's feeling very exciting. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope this is an interesting vlog with this style on my phone. I think it's great. It's really working. So I personally like it. Let me know what you think. And I will catch you guys in a week. We've got a girl's camping trip on the horizon. Um, lots of very, very fun things. So I will see you next Monday. Bye.